Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy and I'm so glad you're here. Today is the 1010 portal and we are right in the middle of it and still in the energy of the full moon yesterday in Aries. What a powerful, magical time this is. So let's take a look, Virgo, at what you need to release while stepping into this 1010 portal so that you can receive all the magic. Virgo, this is good for your moon, your rising, and your sun placements. Check out any of the other ones on my channel for a full picture of what might be going on for you, what you might be needing to let go of, and what is coming for you. Take what resonates and leave anything that doesn't, Virgo. Okay. Wow. Let's take a look at what you need to let go of. The Temple Path and the Door to Romance walk, jumped out. I don't think you need to le let go of these. I think these just wanted to make an appearance to let you know that you have abundance and love coming, if that's what you're looking for. All right, let's get into this. What is Leo? Leo, you might be dealing with a Leo. I just got done with the Leo reading, so Leo is still on my brain, I guess. My Virgos, what do my Virgos need to leave in the past as they step forward in this 1010 portal energy? What do my Virgos need to leave behind as they step into this 1010 portal energy? Alright, we got the strength card on the bottom. The angel of strength showing up. This is Leo. You might be a Virgo Leo Cusper. You might need some strength. All right, we have community and we have action. I don't normally read these cards uh, in reverse, but the action card came up in reverse. Let's get some more cards here. Let's get some more cards for my Virgo. What do they need to leave behind? Can you clarify? Oh, the Temple Path came back out. Can you clarify these cards, please, Spirit? What does my Virgo need to leave behind so they can have the magic of what's coming for them? Virgo, you have love coming. If you are looking for love, you have love coming. Okay, we got lots of cards here. I'm going to hold them up for you as I am <clears throat> just taking a look. I, first thing I notice is a broken heart. Virgo, I feel like you've been doing a lot of healing. I feel like you've been hurt pretty deeply. And I feel like I feel like you've been hurt pretty deeply. And I feel like you're trying to get out of that energy, but you know what? It's the nine. You're coming to the end if you haven't already. I feel like you already have. You've fulfilled this healing that you've been doing. Your heart is whole again. Good job. You've been working hard on your healing. What you truly want, Virgo, is stability and happiness. You just want to be happy. You just want to have a happy ending. You just want to have a fa happy family and you want everything to just fall into place and not struggle anymore. You want stability and happiness. That's what I feel like, Virgo. It's, it's all right here. Remember these cards? They came out in the beginning and I thought they weren't part of this energy. And it turns out that Spirit wanted to reiterate to you, it's time for you to step through the door and, oh, look at that. Maybe you've had your heart locked up in a cage because it's been broken. And maybe it's time to take action 
uncage your heart and open it because you have romance trying to come in and your true desire is this happy family card here which for me is the ten of cups this is fortune after difficulty this is all of your happiness wish fulfillment that you've been wanting this is you growing up getting married your kids growing up getting married and leaving a legacy of love for your family this is the the rainbow is you know good luck good fortune after difficulty a lot of difficulty uh, virgo stability and joy and happiness but you have maybe had your heart in this cage and it's time for you to open the door and be open to love again. This is the portal that we are in today and they're telling you to step through it because you got love on the other side. I bet you when we pull the tarot for what's coming for you in the 1010 portal, it's gonna be love. I can almost guarantee it. So if you're looking for love, uh, Virgo, you might want to pay attention to how you feel about love because you might be closed off. Are you closing off your energy towards love? It's wanting to come in. And this card for me, the community card, of course, this can be your family, this can be your friends. This for me is the three of cups in the tarot, which is soulmate energy. It's a reconciliation energy. It's everybody coming together to celebrate some really, really good news. That once these two came out together, this good news wants to come running to you. Another thing I notice, Virgo, is these, every time I see the dark and the light ponies, for me, it means soulmates. It means divine partners coming together. You might have a divine partner that's trying to come in for you because they've been waiting for you to heal. They see a future with you and they're asking you to let your heart out with this portal. It's time to celebrate. It's time to move forward. It's time to enjoy a happy life. And this temple path, this is good fortune. This is everything kind of coming together and being very fruitful for you. On the other side of that door, this 1010 portal, Virgo, you have the steps to this beautiful temple of fortune good fortune good luck serendipity serendipitous moments creation abundance it's gonna happen fast let your heart out of this cage if you've been keeping it locked up to keep yourself protected because you've been hurt you've been hurt pretty bad but you're at the end of this healing cycle I feel like it's already done. I feel like you've already healed. Only you know, because we're all different, and there's a bunch of us watching this today. We're all different, but you have this heart in a cage here. Open yourself to love. Be open and receptive to love and step through the door. This 1010 portal has celebration, forward movement, possible soulmate energy if that's what you're looking for, and abundance. Wow. What do you have for my Virgo's spirit? For, on the other side of this 1010 portal, what do you have for my Virgo's? What is coming towards them when they let their heart out? abundance when they let their heart out what is coming towards them what are they attracting in this portal what is the energy for my Virgos the star Virgo you have the star 
this is your wishes fulfilled and look I feel like this is a moon right here behind her and the moon yesterday was very very powerful and I feel like it shifted you out of this feeling of or out of this healing process and into your new I feel like you shifted into some new energy with that moon yesterday you have abundance here this is you succeeding this is you building a fortune maybe your your money has been on hold for a while this is you being single and independent but people are noticing you people are noticing you and you're feeling good about yourself you're building your wealth you have good things coming for you happening for you wishes fulfilled prayers answered this is the destiny card virgo this is a destiny card saying that all that you've gone through is all part of your plan of destiny it's all been guided you're coming into your best life that's what the star is you're coming you're literally coming into your best life now with the star energy and this nine of pentacles energy nine of earth in this deck that's your best life too this is you working hard and being recognized for all your hard work and now it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor you've been through a lot virgo this is your energy as a matter of fact this is you being in your power making your prayers come true your prayers are being answered your wishes are being fulfilled a lot of abundance for you a lot of abundance for you stability like you just want to be stable and happy you've got your stability here you've got wishes fulfilled here let's see what else they have for you my virgos what is coming for my virgos what is coming for my Virgos in this 1010 portal? What can my Virgos expect after this heartbreak and this healing they've had to go through? What can they expect? Messenger of Air. This is the Knight of Swords. This is very fast moving energy. This could be somebody that wants to talk to you really bad. This could be you getting a creative idea and ready to go, ready to run forward in that action card. This could be you um, having making a decision and running towards what you want. And this could be somebody making a decision to run towards you. This is unexpected news. So you can, re you can expect some kind of shift that could be unexpected. You might not see it coming. It could shift everything forward for you very, very fast. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. What else is coming for my Virgos? What can you tell me about this Knight of Swords? Can you tell me about this Knight of Swords spirit? What is this Knight of Swords? Is it a person or is it my Virgo? Oh, Ace of Swords. It's a brand new beginning. It's a gift from the spirit. It's a gift from the universe, Virgo. You have the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords. This is a gift from the universe, a brand new gift of clarity of hope, of inspiration, of guidance, of, of communication. Wow. This is you going in a totally different direction. This is a brand new beginning. This is a gift from the spirit, from uh, the universe. So is this. You got the six of pentacles here. This is also your energy. This is a gift from the universe. And whatever's coming towards you if you are attracting love if you do let your heart out of this cage and you are open to receiving love you have a brand new beginning in communication here somebody who is very eager to talk to you 
who really, really wants to get things moving very quickly, and who's going to give you equal reciprocity. This is somebody, you might have been in, in this energy in the past where you overgave, where you were the one that gave all the time and they took, but you gave, and that left you with a broken heart, and it left you protecting your heart. Well, now you're coming into wish fulfillment. You're coming into your prayers being answered. You're coming into a lot of wealth, things going very well for you. Somebody who wants to come towards you with a brand new beginning, who has a lot to say, <laughs> but who also wants to put in the work. You're gonna start, whoever this is, you're gonna notice that they're giving more in this relationship than you. If this is you wanting a relationship, it is coming, it is for you, and it is going to be equal give and take, or they will be giving more than you because it's the opposite of what you had before. But it's also a gift from the universe, a gift, a special gift for you from the universe. And it's probably going to be coming from somebody that you're not expecting. I don't think you know who this person is. Either that or you might know who this person is and you might think, no way, no how would they ever want to come forward for me. And all of a sudden here they are and they wanna shift things forward in a big, big way. And they wanna build on it. They're dedicated and loyal, you can trust this person. You're going to have clarity and guidance, too. With that Ace of Swords, you have a clear, brand new beginning of clarity. You'll know. What else for my Virgos? What else? What can they expect in this portal? 10-10 portal time, Spirit. What else do you have for my Virgos? Ooh, the Seven of Earth. So you might have been... This is a time... This is a... Wow. This is a divine timing card. Maybe you know who this person is and you've been waiting for them to come out of the shadows for a long time. It's your wish fulfillment. It's your prayers being answered for this happy family. And maybe now it's time to come out of this divine timing waiting mode, shifting forward in my other deck, this card shows you've been planting seeds. It shows the seeds been planted under the ground and all of a sudden it starts sprouting. It's time for this to sprout. You've been waiting. You've been waiting for things to go good for you. You got the king of water here. This is somebody who has a lot of love for you that you probably don't know that they have a lot of love because they don't tell you. They have unconditional love, a ton of love for you, but they don't tell you. So you may not see this coming, Virgo. Two of Earth, yeah, this person might, might have been making a decision about you. And now they want to come forward. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. They might have been trying to make a decision and now they want to show you how much they feel and they're ready to come rushing towards you. Either way, Virgo, you are going to be celebrating you're going to be hanging out with your friends, telling them the great news, some great news that's happening for you. This could be a reconciliation. Stability, happy family, fortune after difficulty, everything coming together for you, Virgo. Let's get some advice for my Virgo. Advice for my Virgos, please. Advice from my Virgos. Wow, Virgo, this is really beautiful. Unlock your heart. 
be open and receptive to what they have coming for you because it's pretty beautiful energy. Wow. See how that just knocked that card right down? Do you see that, Virgo? They're telling you, un uncage that heart. You're in your recovery time now. You've recovered from this broken heart here. You've recovered. It's time to unlock, unlock your heart so that you can receive this beautiful energy. You're in recovery. <laughs> you are moving forward. Let's have some abundance and some love. Yeah, you've been sitting in this energy of, no, I'm protecting myself. Thank you very much. It's time to let it go. It's time to let go, let your heart out of the cage. Advice for my Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Advice for my Virgos. It's up to you, Virgo. It's up to you to let yourself receive. You can ask your angels for help. They're all around you. They're guiding this. Let go of the old hurts. Leave it in the past and step through the door, Virgo. Let's get one more. Ah, because you are ready, Virgo. Look at that. You are ready. Let go of anything in the past. Let the past stay in the past. The past does not equal your future, Virgo. It's time for romance. It's time for stability. It's time for good fortune. It's time for celebrating. It's time for you to get what you have been waiting for and praying for. Look at this right here. It's your destiny to have your prayers answered. Let your heart out. Be in this state of receiving and trusting. Trust that the universe has got you. This is what the universe wants for you, just like you. It's time because you're ready. Virgo, this has been amazing. I love you so much. I can't wait to hear about these energies unfolding for you. Please leave me a comment and let me know how it resonated for you. Watch your other placements to get a full picture. And I look forward to another reading with you soon. If you want to book a private reading with me, that information is down below. Just email me and we can go from there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love it all. Thank you so much, Virgo, and happy 1010 Portal Day.